we are Brothers Forge Gaming, and this is Phantom 2040 on the Sega Genesis system of home entertainment. There's a look at the options. Let's get this thing started. Check out these opening cutscenes. From what I can tell, pretty basic story. It almost feels like part Spider-Man, part Steve Rogers. Of course, there's some accident and all of a sudden, I'm Phantom Man! Ha ha! Now I have powers! But this game is very cool. It is a comic book style game. Plays a lot similar to any of those Marvel style games. Uh, X-Men, Spider-Man. But oh, what do you see there? Is that a ninja rope? Oh, it is! You get a freaking ninja rope oh man who knew how awesome is that and you're almost doing that tuck cannonball what game is that from man that just reminds me of something so familiar and i can't even think of it but so here you have you know your baddies you've got a shot i'm imagining you can get some different power-ups in a in a minute here i'll show you the menu uh this is kind of the first mini boss fight here so check this out. Uh, it's tougher than I thought. I actually figured out a pretty good method. So uh, feel free to use it as your own. Basically, this thing will continue spawning guys. Uh, you do run out of ammunition, and so the guys will drop uh, ammunition and health and stuff. Uh, but basically, it, it makes that two that run back and forth. And there's two platforms you can stand on. Uh, and it comes, it kind of comes at different intervals though. So, you know, sometimes you have to duck, sometimes you have to stand. Uh, I found that that's the best way to just kind of tackle this guy. So, it's amazing this game starts off. Awesome animations and cutscenes and graphics and sound and story and all that great stuff. Uh, it is a 16-bit era platformer style game. Oh, here's a look at the menu. So you get all those different items there. You get a health tank, um, an you know, ammunition tank. So that's nice and some other various power-ups I've got. But along with the platformers of this era come a lot of issues. Uh, Backtracking, no map systems, uh, checkpoints that don't exist, uh, things that create a level of gameplay where, you know, maybe if you, if you really enjoy it, you're gonna, you'll like it. But if you get frustrated easily and you don't want to have to like clear the same room four times, these kind of games will begin to wear on your nerves. One thing I do like is this uh, screen here. You get to select the level, essentially. So that's cool. You can go to different places. Uh, it does have a lot going for it. Uh, and now right here is the second stage. And right here is is where <laughs> the couple times I've played this, I've really given it a try to get through this level. But I just get to a point where I have to keep going back and forth. And I get frustrated and I quit. But I thought this was cool. It's like a Robo Tank thing with a little pitcher on it. You can, uh, you know, grab stuff with it. But yeah, guys, this has been Brothers Forge Gaming. Make sure to check out all of our other videos and what's coming. We appreciate your support and views. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. I'm just hanging out.